everyone welcome back to my channel in this video we'll talk about wire decorator of lightning web components you can also call it as adapter or you can call it as decorator okay so i'll explain you everything you need to know about the wire service in lightning web components with examples okay so uh, let's get started and see what a wire service is okay so you can basically use a wire service when you have a requirement to read data from salesforce right for an example let's if you want to display a uh, account details right let's say if you if you have a requirement wherein you have to display the data from the accounts and in a table on your lightning web component right so that could be a requirement wherein you would have to read data from salesforce right so you should know that wire service provisions an immutable stream of data to the lightning web component which means that every value that is available in the stream will be the newer version of the value that precedes it okay so it uses the client cache to get the data so if the data exists in the client cache a network request might not be like you know might not exist or a network request may not be made okay so let's switch to the vs code and understand it better with an example um okay so but before before we start i want to show you what do we want to achieve in the example that we are going to do okay so uh give me a second yeah so this is what i want to display on my lightning web component i want to read data from salesforce and i want to display five accounts and i want to display it in a table wherein i would be uh, wanting to see the account ids and the account name right that means i would be reading the data from the salesforce so it's going to fetch random five accounts okay and it will display me the account id and account name from the account record okay so let's just go to vs code and get started so so i will create a lwc component okay demo wire and before we get get started on the component we know that we have to query from the salesforce right because we want to query the data which is there in the org so that we will we would have to write in the apex controller so we'll go ahead and create a apex class okay so let's go to classes and create a class here um demo wire class okay so what will i do i will just query the accounts here right so public static and the query that i'll be making that is going to return me the list of account so the return type is list of account and get get accounts return and then i will write in my query and what and all are the columns that i want to display i want to display id and name for the records right so i that is why i'm fetching id and name and i only want to fetch five accounts right five account records so i'll put a limit to five okay now your lwc component will not be able to find this method when you import it until and unless it is preceded by or a enable okay so this annotation you always have to put or a enable right and as i said right the wire service uses the client cache correct so what i have to do is i have to make cacheable is equals to true okay so cacheable is equals to true okay so my class is ready let me deploy this code and we'll go back to the lwc component that we have created okay so that was a demo wire so i will go to the html table so let me just give it a heading okay account details i want to create a lightning data table okay so what will i do i will let me just first go to the js file and get the data okay here i know that i'm going to use wire service so i will import wire and then i also have to import the apex class method right so i would have to write in something like this import and then you can give any name let's say get accounts and then from and then this is how you import okay you have to put at the rate at the rate salesforce apex and again you have to put a slash you have to give the class name okay class name and then while when you would when you would give the class name right you have to give it as class name and then which method you want to access right so dot method name so first i'll put in the class name and then dot 
uh, method name. Okay, this is my method. So I'll go back here and I'll put in my method name. Okay, so we have it now. Now, if I go back to HTML, so lightning data table, right? So it has, it, it takes few parameters. So few of the required parameters are key field, right? Wherein you would have to basically pass the ID, any, any value, which is unique, right? So key field, and then it will ask for the data, right? Like on which data you want to iterate the uh, table and basically display the records, right? So you would also have to pass the data. And then it asks for the third attribute, which is columns, right? So it will, you would have to set your columns in your JS file, and then you would have to map it to your data table. And by seeing the columns, it will decide that like, you know, the, the data that you're fetching, right? It has to be mapped with what label and what would be the API name that it would be picking the values for, okay? So let's just go ahead and check it out. You will, once you see this, you will understand. So I will take another property and I would name it as columns, okay? And here columns, the structure is something like this, okay? You have to surround it with square brackets and then every for every field, right? you have to put it in the curly braces. So, and there are two things that I am giving. There are other optionals, like, you know, optional uh, values that you can set, but for now I'm only setting the label and the field name, okay? So I label and then, so label is something that you can decide by your own, whatever you want to give the name you can give. So I am giving the, the first column that I want to have is the ID, right? The account ID. So I'm giving the label as account ID. And then I want to display the value. Okay. So the value value would, would be displayed in something like this. And here in the value, you always have to give the API name, right? So if you navigate to your objects, object manager, and if you go to the object, when you navigate to fields and relationships, you can see the label and the API name of those label values, right? Field values. So here you always have to give the API name of the value, right? API name of the field, sorry, API name of the field, which you have to display, okay? So uh, the API name for ID is ID. And then what is the other field that I want to display? The other field is account name. So let me copy this and then I can, okay? So the label I which I want to give it as account name and then API name for name is name. It's a standard field and the, it has this API name, okay? So now my columns are set and I would also have to import track, okay? My columns are set. Now uh, let's just go ahead and use wire service, okay? Wire service and here inside this, you have to def basically give the defined name that you have taken for the import, okay? And then the response will always contain error and data. Okay, so whatever response you will get as the as 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 a result of this call, right? There are two hard coded properties in the like you know in this method, which is data and error. So you will always get data and error in the response. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll just write a method and I will see like you know if there is data, then I will uh, basically pass that data to another property and then. And then I will pass it to HTML. And if there's an error, then I will store it to another property calling, like, you know, I'll call it as error again. And then I will pass it to HTML, right? So because I know that the response will contain data and error. So what I will do is before I go ahead and write the function, I will define two properties, okay? So here I will store my uh, data, okay? Which will come from the response. And then I also want to store the error that will come, okay? So I will take it as something like this. You can give any name, whatever you want, okay? So here, let me give any function, okay? Wired account or something like that. And then here inside this, I know that like, you know, uh, I would have to separate the two properties, right? That 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 I'm getting. And what and all I'm getting, I am getting uh, error and I'm getting data, right? So this error and data, what I will do, I will check if there is anything in data, then what I want to do is I have created a property, right? I want to pass that data to this property, okay? So data, and then the same thing I'll do with, if there is an error, okay, then I will pass that property to this, okay? The property that I've created. 
so okay so we are set here now going back to the html let's just go ahead and start creating the data table okay so let me define a template first yeah. and here what i will do is i will start defining the data table okay and before before uh, like you know um, going inside the template i will check like you know if there is anything in the list then only i want to uh, go inside the template right so if there is anything in the list in this list where i'm trying to store the data here right so let me go ahead and check this list okay so if you guys remember the conditional rendering we have something as okay so if true and what i'm trying to check i'm trying to check this list right if there is anything inside the list then only i want to create this data table lightning data table okay and then here what i want to do is i have to give three required parameters okay data and where am i storing my data i am storing my data in the account list right account list so this is what i'll pass here okay account list and what is the second thing i would have to give the columns right this is the second property that it expects you to give okay and inside the columns i will be because i have uh, set up my columns here right so i will give this particular property here columns and then there is also another parameter called key field okay anything which is unique so i'll just give id over here okay so these are the three uh, parameters or you can say attributes that is required for lightning data table there are definitely others which you can give but these are the three uh, like you know basic that you can you you have to give okay so what so i have given every required thing i have given the columns that like you know what are the columns it should set set up as and the data list okay and again there is another thing right if there is an error so i also want to display the error if there is an error and again i will put the conditional rendering if to where wherein where i'm using like no sorry where i'm storing my error i'm storing my error over here right so i'll go here i'll type in error if there is any any, any error i will just display the error okay so this is done and if we go back to the js again uh, we import let's just check everything and then we'll deploy this okay i've imported the class method and then i have set up my columns i have given like you know what is the api name of the field and what label i want to give it okay i have set up my columns and then i am calling the wire service i have already imported this method and then i am checking if there is data then store the values here if there is error then store the values here and i'm passing this list and error onto my html file and i'm displaying that into the template file with the help of lighting data table right account list i pass the error and the columns and if there is an error then uh, it will display it will this this particular block will get rendered okay so now let me fix my config file targets okay and then i'll just keep it on the record page save so let me just deploy this folder and i will also deploy this class okay now let's just go ahead and um, include this particular component on any of the record pages and then we can see if it is fetching the data or not so this is demo wire class okay so i will just go here let me go to any any record page right because it is independent i am not fetching the record id from any of the pages so i can drag and drop this component anywhere i want so demo wire okay let me drop it here and here it is just go back 
So you can see, right? This created the data table and I have given the label as account ID and account name, right? So if I go back, go back to the JS file. So these are the labels, right? Account ID and account name. And what it has mapped the data to, ID is mapped to the ID that I'm fetching, right? And name is mapped to the name that I'm fetching because I have given the API names, right? So this has to be correct. You have to give the API name, otherwise it won't be able to match it up with the data table, okay? So this is how you can use a wire adapter in LWC. And in the next session, we'll also talk about how we can uh, read Salesforce data using the imperative method, right? Okay, till then, stay tuned. Bye-bye.